on over here and sit down. I have a, and let's play. Okay, so you have to listen for me to say, King says, then do the thing I say to do. If I don't says, King says, then keep still, okay? Are you ready? King says, stand up. King says, give a friend a high five. Sit down. I didn't say King says. King says, jump up and down. King says, clap your hands. Go to another part of the room. Oh, I didn't say King says. King says, show me your scared face. King says, show me your happy face. King says, be brave. Great job, friends. Today in our story, we will hear, we will hear how a lady named Esther had to go to the king and ask something very important. Because, because what the king says, everyone does, just like in our game. Hey friends, are you ready to practice our verse? All right. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. And that's in the Bible. It's found in Romans 8:39. All right, let's try that one more time. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. All right, friends, get ready for story. It's a fun one today.
times So I cover my eyes But that's so silly Cause God is always with me So I stand up tall Stand up tall Remember He is strong Jesse here and I have a true story from the Bible to share with you today. Today's story is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be sharing it through pictures and you'll hear my voice telling the story. I hope that you enjoy it. Talk to you in a bit. Bye! Today's true story from the Bible begins with a queen named Esther. Esther loved God. She knew that God loved her and had a plan for her. Next in our story is a man named Haman. Haman worked for the king, but he did not love God. In fact, Haman had a plan to do something very mean to Esther's family. One day, Haman told the king that he should get rid of a whole group of people. Doesn't that sound terrible? It was. When Esther heard this, she was so upset. The king didn't, didn't know that the people Haman wanted to get rid of were Queen Esther's friends and family. They loved God, just like she did. Oh no, that's so sad. Everyone, show me your best sad face. What should she do? Esther was scared that if she went to the king, he might get mad at her. But then, her cousin Mordecai to came to tell her something. Mordecai reminded Esther that God loved her and had a plan for her. She could trust God. God loves you, Esther, Mordecai said. You're special. You are made for this. So Esther trusted God's plan. She went to the king and asked him to save her friends and family. And guess what? The king said, yes! Hooray! Way to go, Esther! God had a plan for Esther, and God has a plan for you because God loves you. Tell me who loves you? Yes, God! God loved Esther and had a plan for her. God has a plan for each one of us. I'm so glad to know that God loves us and has a plan for us. Hey friends, wasn't that a great true story from the Bible? Okay, let's say a prayer. Okay. God, you are such a good God. Thank you for your plan for Esther. Thank you for the plans you have for each of us. Your plan is the best plan because you love us and we love you. In Jesus' name. to listen closely to the plan to get to our prayer spot. Ready? Okay, this is the plan. We will tiptoe, tiptoe, hop, hop. Tiptoe, tiptoe, hop, hop. Tiptoe, tiptoe, hop, hop. All right, friends, are you ready? Tiptoe, tiptoe, hop, hop. Tiptoe, tiptoe, hop, hop. Tiptoe, tiptoe, hop, hop. 
You got it! That's the plan! Follow me as we tiptoe, tiptoe, hop, hop! Great job, friends! We followed the plan, and here we are! Let's sit down and talk to talk about our Bible story today. Are you ready? One, two, three, sit down with me. Okay, I have my Bible here. I'm gonna open it up. Our Bible story today was about a girl named Esther. Esther was chosen to be a queen, but it meant she had to leave her family. It was hard. Then one day she had the chance to help her family, but it meant she had to ask the king for help. That was hard too. Esther had to remember that God loved her and had a plan for her. When she did it, when she did, it helped her follow God's plan. And guess what? God loves you and has a plan for you too. God loves each of you and has a plan for each of you. So when I ask you who loves you, that's right, God loves you. God, God loves you so much. Nothing can at all can ever separate you from his love. God's love will always be with you. And the Bible verse we're learning will help us remember that. Do you remember it from earlier? It says, nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. And it's in Romans 8, 39. Can you all say that with me? Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. Romans 8, 39. Great job, friends. Now let's sit down so we can write in our prayer journal and talk to God. I think it's fun to think about what might happen when we all grow up like our mommies and daddies. Whatever happens, we know God, that God loves us and has a plan for us. Think about what you want to be when you grow up. Maybe you want to be a zookeeper or a teacher, maybe a dancer or a builder. Think about it and we'll write it in our prayer journal. Okay. Oh, those are great ideas, friends, and I can't wait to see what you all grow up to be. I know God loves you and he has a plan for you and um, nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. All right, friends, let's get our bodies still and let's take a minute to talk to God. If you wanted to pray before me, go ahead and um, do that now, okay? All right, are you ready? Dear God, thank you for loving us. It feels so good to know that you care about every part of our life and that you plan good things for us to do. Whatever happens when we grow up, we know that you love us and we can trust your plan for, our, for us. We love you, God. In your name we pray. Amen.